G'day everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. I'm going to give you a look at General Grievous now from the Clone Wars line, Wave 1. I'm really not too sure why they've included this figure as part of the Clone Wars line because um, he wasn't in the Clone Wars movie at all as far as I'm concerned. Someone did say that they saw him at the beginning or something, but he certainly um, really had no part in that at all, from what I remember. Quite surprising, but um, probably I'd say he will appear in the um, the ongoing TV series that starts in October, as far as I'm aware. Uh, this figure is identical to the uh, holographic General Grievous that I reviewed uh, recently, and it's just as poor as that one. Uh, once again it comes with these spare sets of arms uh, there's not a great deal to say about this figure that's good um, so I'll just give you a look at him with the um, four lightsabers in this guy a lot better. It's just the arm articulation that really bothers me the most. It does have ball hinge shoulders but there's just no articulation in the, the elbow or wrist area. And just the position of his arm sort of bothers me. There you go, there he is with his four arms and four lightsabers. He does stand well and that's um, one of his redeeming features. I've had a few Grievouses over the years and some of them are just really hard to stand. But this one stands really well. And I do prefer the look with just the, um, the two arms, the blaster and one lightsaber. He's um, going to be re-released as part of one of the other waves of either Legends or Clone Wars. And um, just from the pictures I've seen, it looks as though it's possible he may have better arm articulation. But um, I'm really sort of getting to the point of I've got enough goddamn General Grievous figures. But, you know, they've never really put out a good one of him ever, so... Hopefully one day they do. And just switching back to these other arms again, give you another look like that. better. I'll just quickly run through his articulation. Not that there's much to go through. He's just got like a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders. Like I said, no articulation in the elbows or wrists. He um, just has, what do you call that? Mm, a swivel a swivel um, torso, almost ball hinged, the more just swivel, um, just has swivel hips and no articulation at all in the knee area or the ankles, so pretty poor and it's, you know, very flimsy, bendy, you know, very poor. 
and um, well, I can't really remember what I gave the holographic Grievous. I think I gave him around seven and a half or eight, and um, this one seven and a half at best. It probably doesn't even deserve that actually. Doesn't even come with a cape. No, that would have that would have been nice. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say about General Grievous from the Clone Wars line. I'll be back to do uh, one more review for you today. So until then, may the force be with you.